Hi guys, what's going on? Good to see you again. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with WinRebellview Commons. This episode is going to be my market snapshot. It's a different episode from market update I'm doing every single month for you guys, where I'm cover all Seattle and all east side location. This is going to be just my market snapshot uh, to watch very important players in real estate market to understand where this market is moving. In those market snapshots, I will cover uh, bi-weekly and we will cover only King County residential data in those snapshots. Uh, today is uh, September 17 when I record this video and I will use only data from Northwest MLS from September 1st to September 15 to show you guys where this market going in September. And uh, King County is a pretty large county, I'll show you guys on the map. It includes uh, big cities like Seattle, Bellevue, and all surround neighborhoods like uh, Kirkland, Redmond, Sammamish, Renton, Tequila. So all those cities you guys can see on the map. I will not gonna call every names of the city, but you guys can see the King County is pretty large and we have a lot of people living in King County. Let's see the data, how many active listings, pending and sold listings we have within first two weeks on the market in September. We have 1,196 active listings on the market and out of them uh, we have 850 pending sales and uh, 824 property sold in first two weeks of September. Percentage of pending sales comparable to the active listings. You guys can see in September we have about 71% listings when pending when it was listed on the market. Data for August, for last 30 days, I can show you guys on this screen, uh, it's different data and show us like number of listings in King County. We have about 3,328 listings and out of them 2,270 listings went pending listings. And uh, if you guys calculate this information, it's about 68%. So 68% listings went pending after those properties was listed. And in September, we have a little bit better data, which tells me people back from vacations, people back to shopping mood for real estate, and they decide to buy homes again. And markets start moving again in September. Important data, how many homes sell in less than 30 days on the market? This data shows in September in King County, about 68% of all homes, uh, to be exactly 68.9, like, like 69% of all homes sold within 30 days on the market. Also, we have two more very important players in real estate market, mortgage interest rate and unemployment. And as you guys can see on the screen with me, this is Freddie Mac data for three years fixed mortgages. We have right now about 6% and five years arm about 4.9%. If someone is looking for jumbo loan, between 4.75 to 5% on the market. Mortgage interest rate is a very important player because if mortgage interest rates will hikes, buyer's power will decrease, less buyers will be able to buy properties in Washington state. And Fed's going to have another meeting next week and we will see what inflation report will come up from that. And if they go going to increase rates, mortgage rates gonna be jump again. And I, and I will be very worried if mortgage interest rate going to be above 7%. And second big player you guys can see with me on the screen is unemployment rate. Unemployment is 3.75% in Washington states. And this is like very healthy, very good unemployment rate. But I will be very worried if unemployment rate going to be jump over 7%. If that's going to be happen, if unemployment rate going to be jump over 7%, we will step in in a second stage of recession. And that's going to be bad for economy and that's going to be bad for real estate market. We'll see what's going to be happen. I will continue to record those episodes next month and I will provide data for you. In this short episode, I cover important data for a real estate market, a supply and demand, unemployment rate and mortgage interest rate. Those factors are very, very important and this will help you determine where this market is moving 
in the future. And also, I want to point out for you guys very important information available and provided by Northwest MLS. Northwest MLS created buyers, down payment, assistance center, and then collect data from a lot of different sources like Washington State's different programs, from charities, from different companies, depending on location, depending on purchase price. They provide down payment assistance, a big range from couple thousand to one hundred thousand dollars. And I think this information will be helpful for somebody who looking for down payment, uh, dreaming to buy a property but doesn't have down payment. Maybe this assistance will help you guys to achieve your dreams. To apply, uh, you can click on the link below this video and then link will go through the prompt how much money you can get. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you think I provide value for you guys, please smash like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If that's helpful, I will continue to record those videos between 15th and 20th of each month and will provide bi-weekly data where this market is moving with providing information about supply, demand, mortgage interest rates and unemployment rate. With that guys, enjoy your beautiful September and have a wonderful week.